This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. The offset command is one of the most useful commands in AutoCAD. It creates a new concentric circle, a parallel line, or a parallel curve. You can offset an object by a specified distance or through a specified point. Let's try it out. Open up the offset example file that came with this video. Here we have a residential site plan. There's a center line for the new road that's being developed, some lots for new houses, and a pond with a few contour lines. We can use the offset command to add new contour lines to the pond. Start the offset command by typing in offset, or by typing in the letter O. To find the command on the ribbon, go up to the Modify panel in the Home tab. Here's the offset command. Once the command is started, we have to enter in the amount of units that we're going to offset our objects. Let's use 20. Press Enter. Now select the object you want to offset. Select the inside contour line. Now you need the direction. Are we going to offset this line on the inside or the outside? Pick the side which you want to offset to. We want the inside. Pick a point anywhere on the inside. There's our new line. Now the offset command is still active and still going, and it's still using our number of 20 units. So we can continue to offset this distance by selecting the line again, or another line, and picking inside. We can do it again until we tell it to stop. Press Enter when you're finished. Now you see this shape and this shape were created because as we offset the inside line by 20 units, it couldn't exist in there. So AutoCAD created these shapes and closed them, so they are closed polylines. The offset will only offset if it's possible to create the new shape. If not, then nothing will happen. Maybe you don't want to offset something by a certain distance, but you want the new line to pass through a point. Start the offset command again, and instead of entering a distance, type in the letter T for through. Now select the object that you want to offset. You can pick any object, and then pick any point. And there's your new offset line. Let's offset the center of the road so that we can create the edge of the new road. We're still in the offset command, and we still hit the through option. So now we need to select the object to offset. Now the point we want to offset to. Pick the end point of this lock. Our offset went there. We didn't know where we were going to offset to, not exactly, but we had the object we wanted to offset to not the distance. We can do the same on the other side of the road. Pick the center line, and now pick the end point of the lot. There's the width of our road. Press enter to finish. Now let's get fancy. Say you want the offset line to be on a different layer. A layer gives an object its characteristics and groups similar objects together. We'll talk about layers and layer management in a different section. But let's say we wanted these roads to be on the road layer instead of on this center line layer. The road layer should be active. If not, go to the Home tab in the ribbon and to the Layers panel. Click on the arrow and you'll see the appropriate or available layers that we have. Click on Road to make it active. Now start the Offset command again. And normally when you offset a line, it will keep the characteristics of a selected line. But we are going to create that line, or a new line, on a different layer, saving us the trouble of having to change the layer later. Start the offset command, type in L for layer, and pick either the current or the source option. The source, which is active by default, will keep or apply the layer to the new object of the selected object. The current will use the current active layer, which in this case for us is road. Pick the through option again, press enter, select the object, pick the road. 
Now we have this nice continuous magenta line. Select the object, and there we go. Now we have our road. There are a lot of different things that you can do with the offset command. You can get real fancy, or you can keep it simple.